So on my way here, I, to be honest, I start to think about those guys dead in, in, in Quebec, about what happened during, actually it's the same prayer that happened, uh, things happened in the same prayer in, in Quebec. So to be honest, that was slightly different because when I was driving to come here, it had like kind of strange, strange feeling comparing to the other days, to normal days, let's say. I'm really sorry for the people who lost their lives and who lost their beloved ones. And I, the, th the idea that uh, these sisters over there, these children over there, will never be able to go back to this mosque, enjoy the Eid, and pray together with their father, with their uh, husbands, uh, it's, it's so painful. And I, I, I seek refuge in God, and I pray that uh, God will give them um, the peace and patience to endure this hardship. I think we will look at from two points of view. One is within Newfoundland, and within Newfoundland, our experience has been so peaceful and tranquil and community support. We feel we are part of the Newfoundland community. On the other hand, we read the news, we see some of the uh, intolerance going on around the world, in USA, not only in USA, in some of the other places too. We can understand the consequences of that type of talk when some of the leaders start talking um, intolerance and uh, some of the other uh, language, then that does influence some of the French groups or individuals. And uh, so these are the two different perspectives when you look at it. I appreciate the support all the Canadians are giving us. There are, in every country, there are some peoples like this. You can't blame the whole nation for that.